Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Assam Chief Minister Imanta Biswa Sarma on Monday wrote a letter to West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee seeking CBI inquiry in the death of IIT Kharagpur student Fezan Ahmed. Fezan, a third-year mechanical engineering student, was found dead in his hostel room on October 14, 2022. His parents suspected foul play, demanded an investigation. Following the second post-mortem report submitted by the AK Gupta to Calcutta High Court recently, where it was found that Fezan Ahmed was murdered because gunshot and stab wounds from his neck. Assam CM's request comes two days after the second post-mortem report revealed that he was hit by some blunt object and gunshot and stab wounds found during the autopsy. The ongoing monsoon rains that have lashed the northeast region since June 10 have affected over 42 villages across six districts and claimed two lives in Meghalaya, with the West Garo Hills district being hit the hardest. According to Meghalaya State Disaster Management Authority, or MSDMA, the southwest monsoon has destroyed more than 36 structures, including 17 houses, and caused crop damages over 4.45 hectares. West Garo Hills has been the most severely affected district, with over 24 villages impacted and more than 2,000 1,825 people affected. Two houses were destroyed in West Garo Hills. In East Castle Hills, the monsoon rains from June 10 to June 17 affected one village and one person died due to drowning. The victim, Probino Warba, age 48, from Tindring, drowned on June 7 and his body was recovered on June 10 from Wa Umranja, Maulai. A powerful thunderstorm that lashed Gar Hills early Tuesday morning has caused extensive flooding in many parts of the region, including William Nagar town in East Garu Hills, the Plain Belt region of West Garu Hills, and also triggered landslides. Three villages under Selsela region of West Garu Hills have been inundated by flood waters, compelling authorities to shift villages to government shelters as a temporary measure. He added that several landslides have occurred in several parts of Tura town, but there was no danger posed to humans and dwelling homes. Tuesday morning storm was by far one of the most powerful in recent times post-cyclone Ramal. It struck shortly after 3 a.m. and lasted for close to an hour, bringing with it lightning and thunder accompanied by strong winds. Assam cabinet underwent a major reshuffle on Tuesday after Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma taken over the health and family welfare portfolio from Keshab Mahanta. Besides taking charge as health minister, Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma also holds the portfolios of home, personnel, public works, medical education and research and indigenous and tribal faith and culture. Keshab Manta, who previously held the health and family welfare portfolio, has been assigned additional responsibilities. Mahanta now oversees the transport, excise and fisheries departments, which were previously managed by Parimal Suklabedia. Recently, Himanta Biswa Sarma said that he will reshuffle his ministry by including at least three new faces by August 15 in order to create a new team for the 2026 Assembly elections. Security has been tightened at the Meghalaya High Court following a bomb threat received via email on Tuesday. This is the second time that such a threat has been issued against the Meghalaya High Court. A similar threat was also issued through an email on January 6, earlier this year, warning of a potential bomb explosion within the High Court premises. Security drills were also conducted in the High Court on Tuesday. Bomb squads and bomb sniffing dogs were deployed. Everything is clear, the police officer remarked after the drill. Meanwhile, an inquiry into the threat email has been initiated by the police. Tea workers in Assam will now get quality health care at the doorstep with 40 medical vans equipped with all amenities at the doorstep. The Assam Labour Welfare Department of Assam and the Hans Foundation have signed a Memorandum of Understanding or MOU for launching the Hans Mobile Medical Unit project in the 120 most vulnerable tea gardens of Tinsukia and Dibrugarh districts. The mobile medical units will offer comprehensive packages of services including OPD consultations, free medicines, diagnostic tests, counselling and awareness sessions. Additionally, home visits for the elderly and persons with disabilities as well as referrals to tertiary care centres for critical patients will be part of the services provided. Thank you for listening to our podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Michela.